This is the second part or the bonus episode of Howard Case. If you haven't done so already, please go back and review the first video, the first podcast dealing with the United States versus Howard, where I discuss the whole case. Here, we're going to focus on the court's observations when it deals with the Fourth Amendment, search incident to arrest, and Miranda, and most importantly, how the California Highway Patrol or law enforcement tries to train their officers to get around Miranda and the Fourth Amendment. And the court, when you have good judges, gives you a good overview. If you remember, the Fourth Amendment protects you against unreasonable searches and seizures. And in this case, Mr. Howard was pulled over on his motorcycle for speeding and for driving recklessly. He was handcuffed, but the officer repeatedly told him that he was not under arrest. The officer then searched Mr. Howard's backpack, found a firearm, and Mr. Howard confessed to being a felon. So he was charged with felon in possession. But under the Fourth Amendment, the officer needed a warrant, unless an exception applies. The government relied on search incident to arrest exception, but the problem was the officer repeatedly told Mr. Howard that there was no arrest. He was not being arrested. So how can you have a search incident to arrest without an arrest? Well, that exception doesn't apply. And in fact, if you watch the first part, you already know that the evidence, including the firearm, and the confession needed to be suppressed from trial. But here's what the court observes. As mentioned at the outset, the dialogue between Ruffin, who was the officer in this case, and Howard on the side of the road had a certain unreality to it. A number of times, Ruffin seemed to go out of his way to tell Howard that he was not under arrest, even when Howard was in handcuffs and would not likely have believed he was free to terminate the encounter. Why did Ruffin go to such great lengths to communicate this message to Howard, notwithstanding the reality of the situation? Although we don't know for sure what was going through Ruffin's mind, the answer is likely that he was following his training. California law enforcement agencies apparently train their officers to tell suspects that they're not under arrest on the theory that these magic words allow officers to keep questioning the suspects without advising them of their Miranda rights. Even if it is otherwise obvious that the suspects are in custody and therefore entitled to Miranda's protective admonitions. Why in turn do law enforcement agencies train their officers to circumvent Miranda in this way? Apparently, it is based on a series of court decisions that give essentially dispositive weight to these magic words, immunizing the government from adverse Miranda rulings in cases where the suspect cannot possibly have felt free to leave. So in some cases, it helps the officers deal with suspects who would otherwise clam up. But in this situation, the court says that it will not go along with this game. If the individual was indeed not under arrest, then search incident to arrest doesn't apply. And so this whole tactic that law enforcement had in this case backfired big time. If you enjoyed this little episode, this little bonus, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and give it a five star rating on Spotify or Audible. Thanks for watching.